and I'm currently in Barnsley at the Ards, uh, Arsley Tunnel. Yeah, Arsley Tunnel, that's the name of it. Uh, and I'm currently with another YouTuber named... Wet Dog FBK, good yeah. afternoon. So he's got a YouTube channel. So give him a subscription, give him a like, um, follow his channel. We're into the same stuff. We uh, explore both, you know, disused railways and other things. So today's focus, we're going to be focusing on this Arsley Tunnel. It was part of the... Um, <laughs> It was a connecting line between Cudworth and Stairfoot, opening in September 1899. The Midland Railway opened a strategically significant connection between both of the villages. At only two and a half miles in length, Arsley Tunnel was another important feature sitting on the branch's midpoint. It penetrates the spur of the land on the south side of the Dern Valley, curving to the east throughout on a radius of 40 chains. At 225 yards in length, it falls to the north on a gradient of 1.100. The branch was closed on September the 7th, 1964, but the northern section reopened following the construction of connecting cord of the former Hull and Barza line. This established an alternative route to Stairfoot, bypassing the tunnel from July 1967. So we're currently at the northern portal, and I believe that the southern portal is, is infilled. So we're just going to have a look at the condition inside the tunnel and see what we can find left. So we're in the tunnel, you can see it's got a nice little curve as it heads south. And just here you can see this little hole here. Now, I believe that was like a drainage system. And it looks like just up there, there's a little bit of patchwork being done. You can just see a little bit of loose masonry. Got a refuge, quite a tall refuge here. Look at that. So the, uh, the tunnel was actually built out of old blue engineering brick. You can see there's a little bit of movement in here. There's a lot of loose masonry. Just a few cracks in the walls. Just here we've got another refuge on the left. You can just see the curve there. You can see there's a lot of old ballast on the floor. And another refuge just on the right. Now it's quite an interesting. Uh, what else? You can just see there the uh, the infill. Like I said, the tunnel was only two hundred and twenty-five yards in length. You can just hear a little bit of water as you walk along the tunnel. So that's looking at the northern portal. And this is looking at the southern building portal. You can just see a little bit more movement in the line in here. It's quite interesting. You can just see down the middle. Anyway, let's head on. I've got another little drainage system here. And it's starting to get a little damp now. So just here, we just found this arch drainage system. You can actually see how it leads through the tunnel. You see all the one that I showed you before, but you can see how the pipe, it lifts in the ground. Now for a fairly short tunnel, there's quite a few refuges. Now, I don't believe there's any shafts in this tunnel. And look at that there. You 
You can see the little curve now that curves down to the south portal. And just up ahead, I can just see the infill. Looks fairly interesting, the infill, actually. I think it looks like it's been bricked up. We'll see when we get there. I found a little railway relic here. Or is it just a piece of old fence? I think it's just a piece of an old fence. It starts to get a little damp. You can just see the drainage system that we were talking about as it moves further on through the tunnel. You can see the ballast has fallen in and it's kind of blocking the system so it won't be flowing anymore. So just having a look at one of the refuge holes, you can see how it changes from blue to red brick. You can just see here the difference. And the recesses of the refuge is fairly going quite deep. Little bracket there, I wonder if that was something to do with the tunnel, the cabling. So let's just head towards the southern portal. Another refuge. I'm looking back at the northern portal just there, you can see the curve. You can just see some graffiti here. You can just see here now, we'll hit the portal. Another refuge on the right. You can just see the portal here has been, well, filled in. Let's, look, let's have a look at how it's been filled in. So, you can see some brackets up there and it looks like there's some sort of wooden filling up, the, up at the top there. If we just have a little closer, that's, uh, what's that? It's like it's really, I don't know what the, is it like stone or is it plastered? You can see all these, uh, store, these uh, metal brackets. See a more graffiti in the corner.
Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you for another one. Take care.